Hello, my name is Harry Burrell and this is from, I'm in year two from Linfield East Public School and this is my speech. Good morning, 2JB. Imagine if today was my 100th birthday. It may not be my birthday, but my great-grandfather, Papa, just turned 93. That's almost 100. Wow, the world has changed. Just think, no mobile phones, no iPads and no Harbour Bridge. It might sound like another planet, but that was Sydney 100 years ago. So what did Papa do without all these things? Good question. Most days he would help around the house doing chores. I'm sure that you'll still do, right? In his spare time, he'd kick a ball and use his imagination to make up games. It's amazing how much you can do without a computer. When Papa was a boy, he'd never heard of pizza, sushi or hamburgers. Dinner was meat and three veg, and he had to clean his plate. That meant he took all of the veggies. Dessert was a special trip that he only enjoyed once a week. And even though fizzy drinks were around, it was considered a luxury, and everyone drank water or tea. Has anyone heard of a boiler, a washboard, or a mangle? These things we used to wash clothes, and the only clothes dry was the sun. Papa didn't have a heater, so most houses had a fireplace. No wonder there are so many chimneys in them field. Papa didn't have a fridge, so if the ice man didn't come, all the things in the ice box would melt. Imagine having warm milk and cheese. Yuck. Outside of home, lots has changed too, especially trouble. It's hard to imagine Sydney without the Harbour Bridge, but when Papa was a boy, the only way to get to the city was by ferry. Papa was almost 12 when the Harbour Bridge opened in 1932. 100 years ago, aeroplanes were designed for only one person to fly for a couple of seconds. Not like the Airbus A380 that now carries over 600 people. The only other options for travel were trains and ships, and that took weeks, if not months. Papa has seen some pretty amazing things, and he can only imagine the exciting changes I've seen in my lifetime. Papa always tells me, the world is getting cleverer and cleverer, and whatever you do, make sure you enjoy whatever the future brings. Stop.